Hey, just wanted to hop on here real quick. I was having a conversation with one of my good friends today, Marcellas, and we were just talking. And as we were preparing uh, to kind of end our conversation, I was telling him about a book that I was reading um, called Better Than You Can Imagine. And basically the book is talking about how there's something in you that you already have that God is putting you to help meet a need of someone else or someone else. And a lot of times we don't recognize that because we devalue what we already have. So we're always looking for bigger and better things like, Lord, what can I do? What do I need to impact those around me or to impact the world? And God is saying like, there's already things that I've put in you. You just haven't recognized them. And there's one thing that I share with him that I just want to drop this on you. And it's that is, what I'm learning every day, and I think that we all should learn, is to learn to value that that God values as it, it relates to us. And so there are things inside of me that God valued me enough to put inside of me. And for many years, I have been devaluing them. I, you know, people have asked me to do podcasts and drum clinics and stuff. And I'm just like, why would anybody want to listen to anything that I have to say? Or why I don't have all these chops? Why do people want me to do these things? And what I had to realize is that I was devaluing the things that God had put value in, in me. And so I want to just say to you, learn to value that, that God has already put inside of you. The things that be, make value the things that he has made valuable. You know, don't don't discount yourself. Don't limit yourself. I look at the, the widow woman when Elisha came to her and said, make, make me a cake. She told him like, listen, I understand you're hungry, but all I have is enough left for me and my son and all that, that, that was the truth. She devalued what she had. And he said, well, if you make me a little cake first and then you make you one, and then you make you one your son and, and if you read that story she she did she did so and 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 she never died she never went hungry and what i want to share is that there are things in our lives that god is saying if you would just make trust me enough to make a little cake first put the value in what little you have that i have placed value on that not only would it feed you and me but it will feed generations and so don't despise the little thing or the little oh well nobody wants to hear what i have to say or nobody you know looks up to me nobody looks at me don't despise that but trust that god valued you enough to put these things in you and it, and we should also likewise value the things that god has valued concerning us so I pray that blesses you. Learn to value that that God values concerning you.